guys to give benefits to the illegally employed and to support them rather than to collect taxes maybe collect fees for a service yes yeah maybe like collect 100 pounds in the entire year but give them a service enhance their skills and support them in their jobs of course the government should support micro business because maybe they are afraid of taxation or insurance social insurance or something like that on the other hand you will find if you are talking with the ministry of investments or something like that they have five year exemption for taxation or something like that uh, for uh, huge institutions yes why don't we give the, the same privilege to micro business they, some people they have uh, some businesses so maybe they need uh, governmental support ngo civil society support so they can declare or find um, a great support from the government itself and I think uh, the future of Egypt in order to, uh, to get rid of uh, unemployment is SMEs, small and medium-sized uh, enterprises, encouraging entrepreneurship, the entrepreneurship. How to encourage unemployed people to have their own business. It will, should be based on the labor needs or market needs. Maybe I can find a missing gap in the society which needs a certain project or certain idea, business idea. So I, I think this initiative should be declared and should be combined together in order to present uh, a lot of initiatives for people who are unemployed to have their own business and it will be better than nothing. <laughs> yes. From your expertise as a human development expert, how do you think, uh, what is the exact plan that the government should be implementing in order to raise the skills and what you mentioned previously as the ranking of these employees? Yes. Uh, the, I think the Ministry of Manpower can play an important role nowadays in getting, I think they have a good relationship or they are involved or responsible uh, for the employment issue. So I can see that or I imagine that they can play as consultancy big office, they can train unemployed people based on the labor needs. For yes. example, if we have certain vacancies, so we can train our, uh, train our calibers or unemployed people to be matched to the gap in the, in the labor market. On the other hand, to link the, uh, the labor needs uh, in locally and internationally. I think they are uh, performing the same role, but it should be more professional and very wide. Because but just to criticize the situation in Egypt now, don't you think the government employees themselves, they need human development? They need a little bit because it's, you know, the... How would you expect the government, uh, which, which should be receiving huge amounts of human, human development, and this does not really happen much uh, with, with the employees, how do you expect them to lead the way and pave the way for outsider employees yes. to become better? Yes. I think uh, now we are, uh, we are controlled by our income, our budget. Each, each ministry uh, is controlled by a certain budget. So I can, they cannot exceed the, the set budget. So they can have some donation from other countries in order to establish a certain special units for employment. So I, and at the same time, maybe they can issue department for SMEs and micro business. So they can build, rebuild themselves by, uh, by, by attracting funds from other countries. Maybe, for example, we can find NGOs, they are uh, getting funds from other countries or uh, international organizations in order to perform uh, their activities. Why not the government get funds from other countries and establish a very, very big department for employment and SMEs and so on? and to attract the private sector calibers or experts in order to establish a very big uh, departments and they will be acting as consultancy office acts. Yes, and what can, uh, can you do to make uh, better, you know, have a better job quality? Because on the other side, they need to be developed, but at the same time, the quality of the job itself also needs to develop. Yes. Here in Egypt, we have something wrong related to stereotype or thinking or culture. Maybe it's forbidden. Wow, I'm going to join. That's it's it's not good for me. So it's, it's not good matching with my education or something like that. But I, I, I we, we we should encourage all un, unemployed people to join in the labor market, whatever if it's matched or not matched. Then to rebuild his capabilities, competencies in order to the labor market requirements and so on. 
so it should be and we have to change our uh, stereotype our thinking and uh, our way of life and so, and so on i think i uh, hope uh, things would uh, definitely move to the better for the youth and for also the unemployment rate uh, i'd like to thank you very much dr mohammed hat human development expert for joining us today at my thank, thank you thank you it has been a pleasure now let's move on for a very short break and we'll be turning back for more